is the same no matter where where you start from. OK, so this was about strings. Let's move on to the next data type. Let's move on to lists now. Let's move on to lists. Before I move there, let me just give me one minute. OK, so a list is a very similar thing, but uh, you know, right in, in, in the string data type, everything that you were storing was interpreted as a character, right? So a, a combination of characters makes a string. But what if you wanted to store mixed bag of things? For example, uh, one thing can be the rock name, rock lithology, one can be the rock porosity, one can be the rock permeability and so on. It's like you have a basket where you have different kind of fruits stored. OK, the data type that helps you do that is a list. For example, my rock details. For example, my lithology is uh, let's say sandstone. My porosity is let's say 23.5. My permeability is let's say uh, 120 uh, or let's say something like uh, 270 milli Darcy's. OK, and let's say the depth of that sample where it where we got that rock was, let's say, uh, you know, uh, thousand feet depth or something like that. OK, so this becomes a list. Again, it's almost the interpretation is very similar to a string. The order is important. The indexing starts at zero, just that it is enclosed within square brackets now. OK. Now you can do something like this print. Using an F string again, revising the F string. The lithology is provide a curly braces. Where is the lithology located? L lithology is locate, located at the zeroth index. So that's the way to provide it, it. Provide it. Similarly, you can provide all the details. A nice little message. OK, the lithology is this. The porosity is this. Porosity is at the 1th index. 1th uh, index and you can provide a percentage sign here. The perm is this. 2th uh, index. And the depth is this. You can also provide the units, milli Darcy's, feet. You can see everything is printed. OK. Similarly, in, in uh, creating a list, you can also provide the indexing and stuff. Start at to it index end at the last index and so on. You can see this is happening the same way as it was happening in a string. So that's about a list. So we have we have looked at two data types and we can check the data type of them as well. Uh, rock. What was the variable name? Lithology, it's a string. And my rock details, it's a list. OK. Now what if uh, you wanted to store, let's say uh, you wanted to store, you wanted to create two lists. One list will have all the depth values. The other list will have the, will have the temperature or maybe let's say the porosity at those particular depths. OK, for example. Depths equals to let's say 100, 500, 1000, 1500, 2000. OK, and poros at depth. At particular depth. You can create the variable name like that. Add depth, make it more understandable. OK, so the depth is this. The porosity, for example, uh, porosity can be, let's say you start with 27 percentage, then it becomes 25. Then it becomes 23. Then it becomes 22.5. Then it becomes 18. Let's say OK. 
now what if uh, this is uh, another example of creating a list and having an interpretability what if you wanted to square all the elements of the list the porosities you wanted to square them or apply some multiplication coefficient or maybe divide them by 100 to convert them to fractions let's try to do that divided by 100 for example it is not allowed so basically i'm telling you about list but as you learn one more very popular tool called numpy when you learn that you will use that whenever you are using some computational data storage if you are expecting to do some computation on it always use that data type if you have something like this you can use a list but a list makes a program very slow and it has computational limitations it was only created for storage mechanism it was not created for computation mechanism so that's why whenever you try to do some computation on it it will give you an error even if you want to square it whatever you want to do even if you want to multiply it by 2 it will do something else you can see it is repeating the string twice the list twice but it is not going to multiply everything by 2 if you want to uh, raise it to a power 2 it's not going to happen okay what does uh, the 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 role of plus symbol in list and string what does this plus symbol do it basically concatenates two strings together let me explain you how that happens okay so for example first name is divyanshu last name vyas okay i can use the addition symbol to a string as well you can see both of them are tied together you can provide a plus space plus last name so you can see the space comes in similarly you can add the depth depths plus poros at depth you can see the depth list is first then the poros list is followed so that's the interpretation of plus statement in list and strings okay and like i told you the same way we were doing uh, indexing and slicing in a string we can do that in a list as well okay now let's look at a very important concept having looked at both a string and a list mutability string is immutable list is mutable it means what it means that you can modify a list you can never modify a string for example lithology of rock a for example you want to you know uh, uh, replace the first letter with a small s okay so the way to index the first letter is zero and you want to replace it with a small s python does not allow that but my rock details suppose you want to you know uh, replace this porosity with 0.235 your manager says that you can never store porosity in percentages i want you to replace it with equivalent fraction let's try to do that first you ex access that using this command then you replace it with 0.235 no error again confirming the fact that a list is mutable which means your list now if i print the list again the list is modified without any error but the string could not be modified that gives you an error because python thought the the data type string is is supposed to be a secure data type that's why it was created for example it can be used to store something like a key or a password or something like that and you would never want for example i have written a code i would never want someone else to edit my uh, my name or my password or whatever okay so it's 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 that kind of thing okay now the 